go. Today, award-winning actor Cuba Gooding Jr. and Little Piggy predictions will be made as we kick off live's big game week. Plus, your love of movies can win you a trip to Hollywood. Details on how you can enter our Time to Shine movie line contest. All next on Live. She thinks she's in front of the TV. Know. It's all good, You're though. Right, it's all picture. love. We love you, too, man. We love you, too. Okay. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I feel good. I walked out here, saw a football field, almost tackled somebody. I know. <laughs> What's going on over what? here? That's our, uh, our pig race. We, <laughs> oh, that's right. The show has finally gone to the pigs. Yeah. <laughs> right. so we're, we're having a right. pig race. A pig race, yeah. To see if the pigs can pick who's going to win the Super Bowl. Yeah. They say that they are. <laughs> they they say they're very accurate. You know, like the octopus, oh, the yeah. president. Yeah. Yes, right. Pigs know. They're very smart. Pigs, oh. pigs are very smart. Yeah, I hear they're also unpredictable. I hear there was a here today. Oh, yeah, they're running around. Oh, so we uh -huh. can't control, like, we... Are you they, can. We have lanes? Yeah, well, a lane. A lane. Yes. Okay, just making sure. It's going to work out great. Because my pet pig used to come. He said, come here, Betsy. And she would come. Yeah. Oh, that's right. You were a pet pig. Yeah. yeah. Until you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were going out of the country, and no one wanted to keep her, so we... She was sacrificed <laughs> for the better good of the family. She wasn't... I mean... We ate it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Texas. You, you do things like that, okay? I'm sorry. It was from a future Farmers of America, you know, type thing. And after a year Who or so... Who was in charge of taking my Betsy My brother... Out? Oh, my uncle. Oh, your uncle. None of us could do it. Yeah, None no, of us could no, do it. No, my uncle was in charge of it. It was like that. a family member. Yeah, it was tough. It was tough. An edible family member. <laughs> <laughs> no no pigs today will be. That's, That's right. correct. But since football is made out of pig skin, is that why we pick the pigs? We just thought it would be fun. Thought. Okay. I'm just curious. Who I don't mean like, to make you uncomfortable or the pigs, like gentlemen. I'm just asking. But I'm how just, listen, you... those pigs are backstage listening right now, and they're like, he ate one of us? Wow. So how were you? How was your weekend, by the way? It was very, very busy. My da daughter was in the school opera. Oh. Yeah, it was a school opera, and it was actually... It was quite lovely. It was beautiful. What was funny was that, um, you know... None of the kids, I guess, wanted to tell their friends they were in the school opera. So we showed up early. And, and you know, my girlfriend, Claudia, and her husband, we showed up nice and early to, like, get good seats. And basically, there were eight parents there. And that was <laughs> it. Like, nobody else. So we had our, we spread out. I, we spread out all over the place. Because I know you Lola can sing, but you were saying, <laughs> saying she doesn't like to sing in front of people. Oh, especially not her parents, right? R so, really? In front of you? Yeah, of she doesn't like to sing in front of us at all. So this so. was a big step, though. It was a huge step, and she, um, you know, she got very upset that we were sitting in the front row and that she could see us. She there was, are only I eight people. She I know. Can't I miss said you. you can't miss us no matter where we sit. So yeah, oh. but it was great. And then, um, and then, uh, Joaquin is. Um, uh, having his confirmation this year. It's his confirmation year. So we spent yesterday at a really religious retreat. So it was really nice. I had like a nice kid, like a kid-centric weekend. Yeah, good. Yeah. I, I had a very ambitious weekend. Tell me, what'd you do? Because you know, it's my first weekend. I didn't have to travel to the California oh, that's or football. Funny. You had freedom. So I'm not, not ambitious. In a while, and you get a few days off, and you try to get it all in, mm -hmm. I overdid it. Oh, no. Overdid it. I'm not well, as young you as see? I used to be. I figured that out this weekend, people. <laughs> I figured that out. Well, I went to see Hamilton. On oh, oh, great. 
I, I went to see Hamilton, yeah, yeah. which was phenomenal. It's phenomenal. Phenomenal. I'm going to write a, write a rap about something. I don't know what it's about. Did you get the soundtrack? I didn't get the soundtrack You yet. have to get the soundtrack. And just like, you can download it on your on your on, iTunes. Yeah, iTunes. iTunes. It's great. So I went to see Hamilton, which was fantastic. And then afterwards, they're like, you want to come back, back to stage? And I felt, I was like, no, I'm good. Because I felt they worked so hard. That's what I always I'm like, say. I don't want to go back there and like bother them to take a picture That's because that was say. like, wow, so much work. They were right. I mean, it was really amazing show. If you have not seen it, and, and, and if you haven't heard of it, I don't know where you've been. But if you have not seen it, then you should time. definitely try to get tickets to see it. So I did that. And then on Friday night, I go um, I go see Usher had this event for um, for um, charity and, and, and for, to, for raise awareness um, to, to social cause. So I went to see that and saw our, your friend Donna Karen, who loves you. I love Donna Karen. We had the same birthday. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I so I talked to Donna for a while at that event. Then I left that event and I decided we're going to go have dinner. So I have dinner and then I end up in a club, people. <laughs> Yes. As you should. Ended up in a club. As and then should. I left that club and ended up in another other club. Oh, no. No, wait. This oh, is yeah. getting embarrassing. Because yeah. now what happens yeah. is you leave and it's daylight. I got home at 5.30 a.m. Oh, it's You're too old for that. I got home at 5.30. You're too old for that. I wake up. I wake up at 3 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> 3 p.m. Saturday morning. Okay, you know, so, okay, let me... Uh, with the headache going, I'll never drink again. Mr. Sam, so Mark and I did that. The last time we did that was for... Anderson Cooper's birthday party. It was Andy Cohen and Anderson Cooper have a joint birthday party. And we went to the birthday party and we got home at 5.30 in the morning and we had to go to uh, spring track at 7 a.m. Instantly sat there, a shell of myself. You can't help My it. My body was there, but the rest of me was at home cuddled next to the toilet, if you know what I mean. But I'll tell you, though, the 5.30 rolled up real quick, and I was feeling so good. Like, I'm in the club going, boom, 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 right. boom, boom, boom. I mean... Yeah, okay. Yeah, but, okay, but imagine you don't get to sleep until 3 p.m. Imagine uh, well, an hour and a half later, you're at a track meet. See, you did that to yourself. I knew I could sleep in, so I was good. But there then, it is. Look. There look, you are, right look, there. Look, that is suffering. That is a suffering little fella right there. It's just suffering behind the eyes. But then, you know, so I'm like, okay, I'm not drinking anymore. That I woke up with a hangover, the sugar from the drinks or whatever, whatever it was. What I'm were like, you no drinking? More. Tequila? Yeah, of course. Right. Uh, so, <laughs> so I'm like, no more. So tequila is a stimulant, I think, when you, when you drink it. In well, large. a lot of alcohol stimulates a lot no, of stuff. But I'm just saying, tequila, though, really, like, whereas if you have a glass of red, red wine, you're going to bed. But if you have tequila, you're going to be on the dance floor. That's just the way it is. Yeah, but, you know, so and I, if I don't mix it with, with, like, fruit drinks, like fruity stuff, then I don't get a headache. But I got a headache. Said no more drinking. But then I had dinner planned again on Saturday night and uh, sit down at the table and everybody's there in this place called Chalk Point which is downtown, now really great food. So I'm like, oh, okay, I'm not gonna drink anymore. <laughs> that went out the window real quick. The Here. next thing, oh, but I was very good. I had like two drinks. Pair of the dog. And then downstairs again, and then I was up until 2.30 on Saturday night. So your boy put it in this week weekend. Good That's for all you. I'm saying. Yeah. Proud of you. Now I will not be seen out Proud the club for the next two years, people. <laughs> That's good for you. You lived for both of us. Yes, I, was, I lived for both of us. I was at church all day. <laughs> <laughs> Please, pray for I, my sins. I, I did. Don't pray worry. For my you sins. are absolved. Thank I took you. Care, I took care of everything for all of us. Every, I need it. We're all fine, everybody. We're all okay. I needed it. We're okay for the whole week. Now, have you noticed the, the, uh, the, the temperature is warming up outside? Thank goodness it's warming up. Yes. I didn't wear my puppy coat today. Well, it's 54 today. It's going to be 54 today. I know. Yep, yeah, and, and look at that. You start All the snow is starting to melt. You got New York. I think it's supposed to be um, 60 on Wednesday. Yeah. yeah. And when I when I walked outside today, um, the, sun, the sun was out, and it was in a different position. So already the sun is starting to shift a little bit. 
you know, and I like when it starts to shift. That means spring is, spring is coming. For, see, I don't go by the groundhog. I go by the sun in the I'll sky. Be, I was, you were like that. And I'm like, I don't know where the sun is when I come out of the house. Yeah. I, I always up. notice. I notice that it's like in a different position. And today it had that different position. Well, the, war, the weather is good. Good. I like this weather like this. Mm -hmm. I don't mind a little snow as long as we can, you know, warm it up and melt it after a while. But that's pretty good. So everybody should enjoy the 60s and 50s that we're having right now. Yeah. Yeah. No doubt. In, in Iowa? Going, the Iowa caucuses are tonight, um, and uh, I'm, they were saying earlier uh, d during the weekend that there was supposed to be snow in the Iowa caucus, uh, in Iowa, so they were saying that might affect uh, the, how people hmm. come out to caucus. I don't, I don't know um, if anybody's here from Iowa, um, and you are? Shouldn't you be at home caucusing? <laughs> <laughs> They're like, we left to escape the caucus. Yeah. Anyway, it'd be very interesting to see what happens there. Yeah, it's finally here. I feel like I'm, it's so funny because I was like, as I was reading in the newspaper today, I thought to myself, this didn't happen already? Yeah, it feels like, like this has been the longest process. Longest I think ever. because every debate has been so, everybody has paid so much attention and has dissected every debate more than it seems like they have in the past. And nobody's dropping out, which is interesting. Nope. There's still a, 110 people on the, on the stage. <laughs> yeah, still 110. And then it's funny because some people have 1% of the vote and they're like, I got a chance. I'm like, no, you don't. You really don't. But they're sticking in it. I guess it's they America. have the money to, it's, it's America. America. Keep on going. Right. Yeah, keep on going. And I saw this, um, You're going to be very interested in this. Okay. Saw this. I read it. I said Kelly would love this. Time.com. Right? Okay, time.com, yes. Why don't fashion models smile? Because, because it's sexier when you look angry that you're beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I think. I don't know. I think. Well, the, you know what? That's kind of me. That could be somewhat right. They said it comes from the look of aristocratic disdain we see in centuries of royal portraiture. Mm. You know the royal portraits? They're like... Yeah. <laughs> and and it, it's like, I am better than you. I sure am. I am better than you. And it, it says... <laughs> look at how disgust... I am disgusted. <laughs> But and then it, it conveys that self-control with a stiff upper lip and nonchalance of the European upper class's civil qualities, which the jollied old work classes in those days supposedly found hard to convey. I in other words, we are stiff upper lip, <laughs> and you and you are working class, and we are above. That's the whole thing. It's almost like you don't want to take away from the clothing, right? But you also want to look as if you're on an elite level that someone needs, like, get but on my I level. Find, but I find that at my age now, if I don't smile continuously, I look like I have jowls, so. <laughs> if you don't, I feel like if I smile, I get the puffy cheeks. Well, I, I get that, too. I had, to go to, I had to go to dinner with forget my parents. It. From now on, I'm going to do the show like this. <laughs> the only... The only way I'm comfortable at this point. But, but as a model, you're not supposed to exude personality, and you're actually supposed to um, act as if you cannot be shaken. That is the whole thing. Your look is the look of which you cannot be disturbed. You cannot be shaken. You're full of confidence. Right. And then you're not supposed to take away from the clothing at the same time of displaying that. Girls, this is why we never made it in the fashion model world. Yeah. We had person be to be wearing these fancy clothes. That's why. When was the last time we've seen a model smile? Like in a picture. Nobody? Wow. I'm trying to think. Huh? When? What's that? What? You got something? What? Victoria, oh, that when they're on the red carpet? Who's saying that? Oh, Who's saying that? Because they got like somebody singing up there at the top, there at the top. That's a little different though. Because that, that's like a fun show. So it's like they're singing and the girl, they're walking and they're high fiving. Yeah, and plus, high. they're like, we're Victoria's Secret models. Yeah. So we're even better we than We have everybody. wings. Yeah. We have wings. Watch this. I'm, I'm going to walk and my butt's not going to move at all. <laughs> no jiggle here. Actually, okay, I'm going to get personal, but here we go. So I was uh, in the bathroom. My daughter was in the bathroom. She was bar borrowing um, my hairbrush. 
for some reason. And I'm brushing my teeth and I was in uh, my undergarments. And she's like, ugh. <laughs> she's in my bathroom. Wow. Ugh. When you brush your teeth, your butt jiggles so much. How come? <laughs> How come? And I turn to her and I go, you, because of you. You, you did this to me. <laughs> You and your brothers. I blame you three. Uh, I, that was personal. Right? Well, you said I'm going I'm personal. I'm in my bathroom. I'm like, whoa. I'm sorry, but I had to put the blame right where it rested. The kids, the kids. blame the kids. <laughs> and, um, you know, last night, and I got a chance to watch some of this, was um, Grease Live. You know, mm. the Grease Live mm. performance. Everybody get a chance to see it? And, and I thought it, it, it was actually, it was, it was pretty good. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. I, I really, it's very, it's very amazing to be able to do these things live like that with all the different sets that they were running between, uh, in between. Uh, but it was, a, the, it, what I found out this morning really was even more amazing is that Vanessa, Van, Vanessa Hudgens, who was here, her father had passed away yeah. Yeah. the day really before, sad. the night before. Um, and she went out and performed to his honor, and you would have never, never known that she had gone through such a, uh, a tragic thing, and her dad passed away from stage four cancer. And we wanted to send our best to her and her yeah. family, and um, she was amazing last night. We want to send our best to Vanessa and her family, the memory of her dad, Greg. But wow, wow, wow. Wow. Um, well, let's go out. Let's go out on a. Let's yes. go out on a, a happier note. Um, Uzo Aduba, who we love so much yes. here at the show. Uh, crazy eyes. Crazy eyes, right? Of course, <laughs> took home uh, a SAG award. Yes, yes. And uh, yep, well deserved. Here's what I. As if I couldn't love Uzo anymore, she took her prom date as her SAG date. Oh. There they are at the prom. And here's Egg Awards. Wow. We can agree they are both aging beautifully. They look exactly the same. <laughs> like they look wow. like the same people. That was cool. That's really cool. Isn't that cool? Yeah. yeah. I see where Idris, Idris Elba, he, he said a, a, he won like Best Supporting Male in a, in a, in a movie and also Best for Lead of, for Beast for of Man. Beast, Beast of, uh, and, and then he won in for a TV show for Luther. Like wow, he he was he he did, he did what? But that's, did that's you see cool. that movie, Beast of No Nation? I, very 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 it's well done, it's but wow, to watch. it's amazing oh that gosh. that you know people live like live like that, and it's just 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 amazing. But well done, well yeah. done movie. Um, big show today, everybody. Very big show today. Yeah. You know what? I personally, I love, love Cuba Gooden Jr. Yes. Love him. Adore. Great guy. Great guy. Me too. And, He's um, playing O.J. Simpson. Yeah, People versus O.J. Simpson. Good, good, good. Very good. And um, also, we're going to begin our live big game week with a very special race, which is the pig race, yes. to see if we can have the pigs help us, help us predict the winner of this year's Super Bowl. If these pigs get it right, yeah. we should let these pigs figure out who's going to be president. <laughs> Bam! I like that. You know, if we have time, we'll maybe throw in some uh, political uh, races, too. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. That's You're a great try idea. to wear these pigs out, huh? <laughs> okay. All right, and we're going to give you, give you all the details, too, on a trip, on how you can win a trip oh, right. to go with us to Hollywood <laughs> for our After Oscar special. It's TV. Uh, once in a while, you take a mid-morning nap and you forget to read the cue card. I got you. Don't worry. I do the same thing. And right now, let's kick this party off. Our dancers in position for our Snow Wild Travel Tribute. Jersey girl, and that's Kiana Harris from Elizabeth, New Jersey. 
Tatiana. Look at she. Hi. You know, I love a winter white suit. You look great. Thank you. You're welcome. That's fabulous, too. Mm -hmm. that, now, we gave you the hat. Yes. Did we give you? We did. And <laughs> Can did I keep they it? turn it back in? No. No? Um, okay, <laughs> good. Gelman, you're finally letting people keep some things around here. Open that budget up, buddy. Open that budget up. Yes. Great job, Kiana. Great job. He's spending it all on confetti. <laughs> and um, let's say hello to George Early from Visalia, California. Hello, George. How are you? Morning, Mike. Morning, Kelly. How are you? Hey, George. Great. What's going on? Oh, look at your snowman. Oh. And your little dogs, too. Yeah, that's Hudson in Paris. Oh, that's where? That's in Shaver Lake Sh in, here in California. Oh, oh, oh. nice. So um, what did you do this weekend? I uh, went back up to Shaver Lake this weekend. <laughs> oh, nice. Do you have a vacation place there? We run up there for the day. Uh, it's like an hour and a half from my house. So this time we left the dogs and took the granddaughter. Wow. Nothing wrong with that. Who was more fun? <laughs> Who had more fun? No. Who had the granddaughter? She knows how to throw snowballs. Ah, it's always important. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know what? We're going to spin the wheel. Hopefully, we can send you on a trip somewhere, all right? <laughs> oh, here's a prize. The oh. Ocean Club Resorts in Turk Caicos. Nice. Yeah. Seven days and six nights in a junior suite. It includes one spa treatment per person, two rounds of golf. This trip is provided in part by Hotels.com. It's a prize valued at $3,500. You have 20 seconds and only one guest, George. Good luck. Thank you. All right, George, here we go. On Friday's show, we talk with Joshua Jackson. Jackson, how many days did Joshua say he took to travel around the world? Uh, 21 days. You got it, you got it, you got it. Congratulations, you and a guest will enjoy seven days and six nights at the Ocean Club in Turks and Caicos. Ocean, Ocean Club sits on Grace Bay Beach in the Turks and Caicos Islands, which is consistently voted one of the world's best beaches. Enjoy breakfast and lunch daily, a $200 spa credit, two rounds of golf, plus access to on-site water sports, and it is valued at approximately $3,500. George, congratulations. Thank you. Who are you going to bring, your granddaughter or the dogs? Uh, I'm going to take my beautiful wife. Uh -oh. Oh, there yeah. you go. Great idea. Great idea. You know, I know Second she's sitting one. right next to you. That's a smart <laughs> answer, buddy. Exactly. Now you, you help, know. now you can help make the day of a lucky member of our studio audience who will receive a $500 appliance package, package from Cuisinart. So please pick a number between 1 and 235. Uh, 92. 92, that's my football number. There he is, right there. Hey, George, thank you, my friend. Congratulations, congratulations, sir. Everybody stay, everybody stay right there when we come back. Cuba, Gooding Jr. will be here. Still ahead on live, we begin live big game week. And you won't want to miss the special way we're going to predict the winner of this year's Super Bowl. We'll give you all the details on how you can win a trip to join us in Hollywood. And coming up... Welcome back, everybody, on tomorrow's show. From the People versus O.J. Simpson, American Crime Story, Jutta will be here. Yes. Exciting. And um, we're going to continue live Big Game Week with one of um, Kelly's favorite big game recipes. Yes, that's right. It's actually, it's top secret, and it's not... Top secret? It's really, I usually impress school functions with this. It's a Whoa. very delicious, it's fattening. I'm putting it out there right away. It is fattening, but it is delicious. It is, it's gold in a, in a dish. Okay. That's all I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Okay. Gold in a dish. And from the series, The Muppets, Kermit the Frog will be here. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> We're going to talk about all about his breakup with Miss Pitch Piggy and everything else, I'm sure. There's been a lot of scandal this year for Kermit. Oh, yeah. Just saying. Okay, now, he's an Oscar-winning actor and one of Hollywood's most talented leading men. Now he takes on the pivotal role of O.J. Simpson in FX's series The People vs. O.J. O.J. Simpson, American Crime Story. Please welcome Cuba Gooding Jr. <laughs> I know, I know. I know. 
like 2013 or something. I mean, yeah, that's it's been ridiculous. a while. Where the hell have I been? I, I guess you've been anyway. you've been busy. Yeah, I will yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you look great. You look great. I love your hair. Thank you. Yeah, it's <laughs> good. no, it's really good. Thank you. I'm trying to get there. Um, <laughs> but you know, your name is so unique, and I always wanted to ask you, how did your, your name come about? How did you end up with Cuba? Yeah, my, uh, well, my grandfather was a seaman, mm -hmm. and, had been, and she passed away, so he moved to Manhattan, became a taxi cab driver. Huh. And they always give you nicknames, you know, mm -hmm. and he was, his real name's Dudley Gooding. They used to call him Cuba. Hey, Cuba! You know, That's so cool. when he had his first son, he named him in honor of the country he loved and in honor of his first wife. So, wow. Yeah, yeah. I did not know that. Yeah, so All these is. times we've spoken to you, I did not know that. <laughs> I know. That's so interesting. Yeah. So you could have been Dudley. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's funny. Yeah, it's funny. In my film company, it's called Dudley Pictures. Oh, that's oh wow. right. yeah. yeah. Of course. And, you, and your father's a singer, though. Main ingredient, yeah. yeah. Singing talent? Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> I don't believe that. As a matter of fact, I know y'all will pull out that. a band and all that. <laughs> <laughs> They're crooning. How did you get, did you remember, like, your, your first, uh, how, you know, how you became involved in show business? I was always a, I was always a little kid doing dance, and when people would come over, I'd show off, do the robot, do yeah. all the things, and so I knew I was going to be an entertainer. But it was probably in high school when uh, they put me in the drama department. I was uh, Pappy and Little Abner, oh, and I, I was you know just a, always, no matter how small my part was in whatever play they put me in, I always you know, try to do something to steal the moment. Right. You know, it'd be two people doing a scene and I'd be in the background, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and they, the teacher was like, I won class clown, you know. It was always that boisterous personality that got me through. So. But, but I remember you in the, the barbershop, right. sitting in the chair. We actually we have a, a clip of that. Of course yeah, you do. We do. Let's see. Oh, come on, man. What about Joe Lewis? The blonde bomber. You damn right. I suppose nobody in here ever heard of Cassius Clay. Hey, I ain't saying Clay ain't bad. I, I'm just saying I stopped liking Cassius Clay. Once you change the name to Muhammad Ali, he is Clay. He Clay to me. I say Clay. <laughs> How many hours were you sitting there? Because you had to sit there for yeah. all the different parts, right? It was, it was actually two days of two filming. Right. Actually two days of two filming. Right. Yeah. Right. And, of and the scene used to end where I try to hustle him out of money, and I could not have been good enough to make the movie. <laughs> We got your lines cut, man. I got my lines cut. <laughs> got we we got to cut to this interview. We got to take a quick break. And um, we're going to, when we come back, Cuba's going to tell us why um, Show Me the Money never gets old. All right. All right. Can't wait to hear about this. We're going to come back with Cuba Good We're going to come back with Cuba Good and Junior, everybody. Tomorrow on Live, one of Cuba's co stars in The People vs. O.J. Simpson. O.J. Simpson, American crime story. And um, you have a very impressive body of work, my man. Thank you, thank you. You really do. It's, you. Been, it's been 20 years since Jerry Maguire. 20 years since I know, Jerry Maguire. I know, I know, I know. I feel old as hell. No. <laughs> and then I think, uh, and it, somebody came up to me the other day and said, you know, it's 25 years since Boys in the Hood. How yeah. is that like, possible? I know, I know, time flies. I got two kids in college. Oh my wow. gosh. I need a job. <laughs> <laughs> But I think Jerry Maguire was the first movie premiere I ever went to here in New York City on like the Queen Mary. Yes. That was the Were first you there? I was yeah, I wasn't big time though. You wouldn't have known who I, I was. Right I was past yeah, you. I was just another guy just walking in the room. But do people still come up to you there. when they see you and go, show me that body? All the time. Yeah. <laughs> All the time. It's a great scene. It's yeah. it's one of the greatest scenes in movie history. We're having we're actually having a contest here where people recite their favorite movie lines. And they say that. And I bet you I can guarantee, guarantee you that will be like 50% of our no, entries. The funniest thing, last night I was at the bar and I heard somebody yell out, Hey, OJ! I said, he goes, show me the money! And I was like, really? <laughs> really? <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, man. I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Ah, oh, the life right, of an well, actor. Um, that's a little mix-up right there. So oh, I killed man. that man. I should. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, I'm kidding. These are the jokes, people. Calm down. I'm kidding. I just... Oh, man. Gelman, Gelman, release the pig. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. When I tell you, you that was funny. <laughs> oh, hey, all day. I made him a shut up. <laughs> well, listen, we have to take another commercial break. Um, we're going to find out, uh, you know, why portraying O.J. Simpson was the hardest character you've ever played. I, I can imagine a myriad. I, I can imagine a myriad of reasons. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. Tomorrow.
Now I'm live from the Muppets, Kermit. And um, we're going to talk about the People versus O.J. Simpson in an American crime story. Now, this takes you inside. At what point does this pick up? This pick up? This, this, this show, this The movie. first episode starts with discovering the bodies, the two bodies, and then it goes all the way through to the not guilty verdict. People yeah. are still fascinated by this trial. Mm -hmm. Did you um, talk to O.J.? No, I didn't, I didn't, you know, I, I, if I was playing the character through to t present day, then I would go, but I know what incarceration does to a man, and mm -hmm. I didn't, I'm not playing the shell of himself, I'm playing him at his most flamboyant best, charismatic best, and I, I wanted to focus on that and that period of time, 1994. Is there something about him that you learned that surprised you? Every day. Wow. Really? Every day, every day. It's, you know, it was one of those things where everybody, either you think he's guilty or you think he's innocent. You have specific reasoning why. Well, you know, mm -hmm. this is why and this is what I heard and I know this. As you research it, all of the facts were just a little off. Like there was always something that I thought I knew was the case and it wasn't, mm. you know? And it, it was one of those things where as you put this character together, you can never judge a character because once you do, then you'll miss all of the, the, the colors of, of whatever the, the opposite of that frame of mind is. So I tried to stay neutral, but I mean, I mean, if you think about a trial, you have admissible, inadmissible evidence, but we had all of the, we had everything. You know, and I live in the area where this all took place in Los Angeles. Yeah. So I would go to restaurants every night and somebody would be like, let me tell you something else that I know you don't know. And it was like wow. the flood of information was overwhelming. So. And I remember it like yesterday, the, the Bronco <clears throat> yeah. Chase, Chase. I was in Germany actually visiting my parents. No kidding. Yeah, wow. visiting my parents. No kidding. Yeah. Wow. And, it, it and they had in, it on TV. Yeah, it cut oh, into yeah. the AFN, American Forces oh. Network. I mean, everybody it, remembers yeah. where they were. Do you remember where you were when that happened? I do. I do. I was at a friend's house watching the next game. And uh, I remember by it that we started the game off square with the Bronco in it. You know, the, 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 the small screen on the TV. And midway through the game, we had the Bronco on the TV yeah. and, the radio, and the radio was playing the game. We weren't even watching the game anymore because we thought at any point he's going to either get shot by the police or, or pull the trigger. It was, yeah. You know, one of those, it's just a weird time. Yeah, yeah. mesmerizing and mesmerizing and surreal and yeah. all of it, all of it, yeah. And we're going to take a look at a clip. Now in this clip, your character, you play OJ, he gets upset when he sees himself handcuffed yeah. um, on the news. So here is Cuba Gooding Jr. and the People vs. O Crime Story. <laughs> And, and I'm curious, after you filmed this and you kind of went, did your opinion as to his innocence or, or guilt? Every script I read. No kidding. Every script I read. There's 10 episodes, so there's 10 scripts. Mm -hmm. And again, I try not to judge the character, but, you know, the information, the flood of information was, you know, overwhelming. Information was, you know, overwhelming. I remember when they announced the not guilty verdict, I celebrated because I didn't care if he did it or not. I was just like, you know, another black man railroaded by the cops. Mm -hmm. At least he, you know, at least, even if he did it, at least he got away. I mean, that was my, I mean, if you think about it, my, my, my attitude was I had filmed Boys in the Hood a couple of years prior. Right. The Rodney King verdict came down, and then now this. Yeah. And I remember when we shot the scene of the funeral scene where O.J. is wearing his glasses, and he goes into the funeral parlor, and he kisses Nicole's uh, corpse. Mm -hmm. And I remember walking into my trailer and I couldn't stop crying. Like I was so overwhelmed by emotion. And I didn't understand it at the time. And I was telling Ryan Murphy this, who is our, uh, the, the showrunner, the, the creator, the filmmaker. And I said, I think I, 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 I got that, I went through that nervous breakdown because I felt an immense amount of guilt. Because I never mourned the fact that these families had this loss, the Goldman family, the Browns. I, I just, I was so caught up in the, in the racial tension of that time that now that I stepped away from it, you know, these two people, that these were victimized people. So, and I think that the show tries to show this period in time, and that's why we don't focus on his guilt or his innocence, but we're just, we're, we're, shining, we're shining a light on the defense team, the prosecution, mm -hmm. the incompetence of, of the, you know, the judicial system at this, this period of time and the racial tension, and that's what the show is really about, and, and it just, it's just an effective. Great job telling the yeah. story. Parts of it, and I gotta say, the worst, the worst of your viewing, the, the people, 
versus O.J. Simpson American Crime Story premieres tomorrow night, February 2nd, on FX at 10 p.m. You don't want to miss that, everybody. Cuba Gooding Jr. Coming up next, we're going to tell you how you can win a trip between us and Hollywood. Wednesday on Live from the new film, How to Be Single, Rebel Wilson. I ate his liver with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. I feel the need. The need for speed. Let's get let's give him blue steel. You know, we all have our favorite movie lines, obviously. And now here's your chance to reenact your favorite and win a chance to come to Hollywood with us. Yes, and um, we've teamed up with Farm Rich for the ultimate party the Oscars, and our Time to Shine movie line contest. Reenact your favorite movie line. The pigs are in the house. Mama, and you'll have a chance. <laughs> <laughs> you'll have a chance to win a trip to Hollywood, California. Tickets to the exclusive Oscar red carpet and viewing party and join us. Back to the show, everybody. And now all this week is live big game week. And what better way to start it all out than to race two pigs out than to race two pigs to see if we can predict the winner of Sunday's big game. And Kelly and I each have been randomly assigned a pig and they are dressed in each team's colors. I have the Carolina Panthers and you have the Denver Broncos. When, when the music begins, we're going to put down our pigs. <laughs> and try to coax them to the finish line using a container of piggy treats, which look like Fruit Loops. <laughs> Whoever finishes first may just predict the winner of Sunday's big game. I'm as ready as I'll ever be, Mike. Let the piggy prediction begin! There we go. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Right, and, and uh, you know, hey, at least they both get a treat. I am Everybody. out of breath from this. <laughs> Stay right there. We'll be right back. Tune in tomorrow on Live when Live's Big Game Week continues with one of Kelly's favorite recipes. And our Bronco Pig won. That's right, our Bronco Pig won. Now we're going to do a, this is a nonpartisan prediction of who's going to win and of who's going to win at the uh, Iowa caucus uh, tonight. So uh, first we're going to run the Republicans, then uh, the Democrats, whoever. We may have to do some of this on uh, online because we, we may run out of time. On tomorrow's show, John Travolta will be here. You're going to cook. Kelly, Kelly's yes. going to cook. and Kermit the Frog. So here we go. We're going to start our race. <laughs> Yeah.